In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry and bond angles for N3 minus. This is the azide ion. So the first thing we need to do when we're looking at molecular geometry, we need a Lewis structure, a valid Lewis structure. This is the Lewis structure for the azide ion, N3 minus. If you need help drawing this, you can look in the description and there's a link there. So we have our Lewis structure. Each nitrogen has eight valence electrons. So it's all good. Overall, we have a negative charge. This is an ion. So if you think about it, if you think about these two nitrogen atoms here, they're pushing away from each other to be as far away as they can. Then you would get this straight line. You'd have a linear molecule. And there's no lone pairs here. They would push away as well, but we don't have any. Let's try to visualize this and see the linear molecular geometry. You can imagine the center, that purple there, that's the nitrogen, that central nitrogen atom. We'll add another nitrogen. It has a double bond, so that goes here. And then we had one more nitrogen with a double bond. And you see they spread out to be as far away from each other as they can. That's what gives us that linear molecular geometry. And there are no lone pairs on that central nitrogen. So that means that the molecular geometry for N3 minus, that's the same as the electron geometry. So the electron geometry for this azide ion, that's going to be linear as well. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. If we look at our Lewis structure, there are two other ways we can determine the molecular geometry for this azide ion. The first is we can look at the steric number. So the central nitrogen has one, two things attached to it. So if we look at our chart here, so we look at our chart here, we have a steric number of two, we have no lone pairs, so we have a linear molecular geometry. The bond angle here, because it's in a line, is 180 degrees. We could also use the AXE notation to figure out the molecular geometry. A, that's that central nitrogen. X, that would be the number of atoms bonded to it. We have those two other nitrogen atoms. And E, that'd be the number of lone pairs. We don't have any lone pairs. Sometimes you'll just see a zero here. We could have memorized that AX2 is linear or look it up on a table, but we'd find out that the molecular geometry for the azide ion, N3 minus, is linear. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.